Hey guys, this is Gundam Freedom and today I'll be doing a review on the 1144 high grade fighting action Gundam Dead Sight Hell version EW. For colors, the kit comes molded in black and light gray and some dark navy blue for the main body. It also comes with a little bit of white and red and yellow for the V fin and it also comes with the gray polycaps. For stickers, the stickers are the eyes, the chin, the gray, light gray part on the neck, and then the red vents on the chest, some white stickers on the front skirts, and then the white trims on the forearm guards, and I think that's it for stickers. And then for detailing, um, I didn't use the chin sticker, instead I just painted it red. And then I added another sticker for the camera lens. And then I painted the yellow Vulcans on the head as well as the trims, the red trims on the face. I also painted the white forearms. And then I also painted the red chest vents and the missiles on the shoulders. And I also painted the uh, circular details on the legs as well as the light gray parts on the top of the feet. So first up are the hands. So the kit comes with uh, three sets of hands. The open uh, holding hands are already on the kit itself. The, the, these hands are made of polycaps or they, they are not that detailed. So it also comes with two close fist hands and two open palm hands. So you can see here. And then it also comes with a separate chess piece so that you can copy the pose in the box art. So it also comes with the separate stickers for the chess vents. and also comes with its uh, own polycaps here, which I didn't use on the neck because I won't be using this chess piece. So yeah, doesn't have any moving parts, just uh, stuck in place like so. I think the only Endless Waltz kits that doesn't have any separate chess pieces are the Nataku and the Heavy Arms. The Sandrock, Wing Zero, and this guy has the separate chess pieces for the uh, box art poses, so yeah. And the last accessory is the single beam scythe. Uh, the TV version has the double beam scythe, but the Endless Waltz version only has the single beam scythe, so. I don't know why they didn't give it the twin beam sight. Anyways, the beam itself comes molded in yellow just like the V fin. You just need to paint it fluorescent green here. But the whole handle and the beam emitter here is molded in light gray already so you don't need to paint it. The head is on a single ball joint so it can go up about that far and down that far side to side a little bit and rotate about that far until the chin piece here is hitting the collar piece here. For the arm it's on a normal peg joint from the body here which can rotate about that far up and then it can go out about that far until it disconnects the shoulder. This kit is a bit loose because of the old plastic Anyways, the, sep the shoulder armor has a separate joint. The cloak is not in the way the arms can uh, stay shoulder armor. There we go. The spike here on the shoulder can move up and down on its own. And then there's no bicep swivel. The, there's a single jointed uh, polycap here in the elbow so it can bend about that far and also rotate all the way around. And then the wrist is on a ball joint so it can rotate and wiggle. For the torso, it's on a single peg from the waist up to the mid torso here which can only rotate about that far until the middle piece hits the back skirt here on the back. So very limited. For the waist area, the pr front skirts are already molded together. 
so they can move about that far up and then the side skirts can move up about that far and also forward and back the back skirt doesn't move its fixed pose and then the hips are on ball joints so they can move forward about that far go back that far in and out about that far and then there's a little bit of forward and back motion from the ball joint the knees are double jointed so they can bend about that far there's no separate ankle armor here so it's stuck in place as well as the knee uh, armor here or the knee spike here and then the foot are on a ball joint so they can move down and up about that far side to side just a little bit and rotate about that far the wings um, they are on a polycap hinge here on the back which can move in and out a little bit and since uh, I modified the kit a little bit which I what I did is I cut out a little bit of plastic here from the two moving cloak parts here so they can move in and uh, up and down more because originally they can only move up about that far but now they can move further up like so which meant that the cloak can be posed when it's uh, up in the air um, ready to attack and then the other cloak parts are attached via these uh, adapter pieces here which can be uh, situated like so so that it can be posed open and then you just need to put it like this when it's closed so this is the configuration when it's open so reattach the connector piece like so and then pull up the spike here then reattach the other peg here on the uh, secondary cloak part now the whole cloak itself can move up like so originally it can only move up about that far but since I modified it, it can move up further just like the master grade version so let me just attach the other piece on the other side So and that is the dead side hell with with its cloak fully open. Here is the high grade dead side hell and the Swaltz version. Next to the TV version of the high grade dead side hell. And as you can see, aside from the difference in the body and the color scheme, because this is a Katoki version design, while this is a Okawara design. The main differences for them are the cloaks. For the TV version, the cloak open up uh, upwards, while on the Endless Waltz version, the cloak open up uh, on the side. So those are the differences. And also the cloaks on the Endless Waltz version are separated into two, only two parts, while the TV version are three pieces on the side, the front, and on the back. Overall, this is an okay kit for its age. Um, I think of out of all the Endless Waltz kits, uh, this is one of those that are a bit of the on the uh, bad side because the articulation is not that great and some of its uh, movements are hindered by the cloak itself. So I'm definitely looking forward to um, uh, an updated version of the high grade Dead Side Hell, hopefully very soon because it needs an upgrade all of the endless wall skill kits in the 1144 scale needs an, needs an upgrade so that's it for this review i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys again next time bye